The Suki Kanari Hydro Power Project located on the Kunhar River in the beautiful valley of Kagan. The project is one of the biggest private sector hydropower development in Pakistan. The run of river scheme has one of the highest head in Pakistan and equipped with four Pelton turbine generator units with total installed capacity of 884 megawatts. The dam and the power intake are located 256 km away from Islamabad along the bank of Kunhar River in Kagan Valley. The Suki Kanari Hydropower Project, one of the engineering marvels, is being constructed in a very difficult mountainous terrain and extremely cold weather. It is perception that the construction work shuts down completely during the extreme winter, but the experienced team managed to continue the construction activities in extreme weather. The double-layer spillway is gated control section, consists of lower spillway and upper spillway. There are five bays in each spillway section. Currently, the construction works are going on at Upper Spillway. The third and final diversion of Kunhar River shall be done in the month of December 2020 through Lower Spillway. The construction works are going on accelerated pace. The civil works of Lower Spillway have almost been completed and installation of gates and other electro-mechanical works are remaining. The asphalt concrete core rock fill dam consists of 125 meter deep cut off wall to control seepage. The drilling for construction of plastic concrete cut off wall is in progress at different sections. Some sections have already been completed prior to first river diversion. The Suki Kanari Hydro Power Project have more than 23 kilometer long headrace tunnel. Ten construction adits has been arranged to excavate such long headrace tunnel and about two kilometers long twin penstocks. The excavation is being undertaken with the drilling and blasting method. The seven meters diameter tunnel is passes through relatively high ridges, difficult mountainous topography, including poor rock and fault zones. The maximum overburden on the headrace tunnel is 1,350 meters and minimum is about 50 meters. Despite these difficulties, about 50% excavation has been completed so far. At the end of the headrace tunnel, surge shaft is designed to mitigate the water hammering effect in case of sudden shutdown by closing the turbine valves. On 20th October 2020, the re-aiming of pilot hole had been completed successfully. After removal of reverse drilling machine and further necessary preparatory works, the expansion of pilot hole up to 25 meters for upper chamber has been commenced. The surge shaft consists of a pressure regulating upper chamber, a vertical shaft, and a pressure regulating lower chamber. The total depth of surge shaft is 234 meter and final diameter is 5.5 meter after reinforced concrete lining. After completion of 26 meters deep excavation of upper chamber, concrete lining shall follows. The twin penstock system consists of horizontal pressure tunnels and vertical pressure shafts. The excavation of upper, middle and lower sections are in progress. The excavation of chamber for middle pressure shaft is in progress. The chamber is 43 meters long, 9.4 meters wide and 13.4 meters wide. The excavation was divided into heading and benching. Due to the poor geological conditions, the best international design practices and other technical solutions were used. The advanced geological survey was used to predict the ground conditions. The benching of both chambers have been completed and installation of support works are in progress. After completion of support work, the cushion concrete and grout works for the drilling of pilot hole shall follows.
The twin penstock crosses several fault zones and faced extreme difficulties during excavation. The excavation of third horizontal pressure tunnels are in progress, but geological conditions slow down the advance rate. The excavation of chambers for pressures shafts have already been completed. After installation of gantry cranes in both chambers, the expansion of pilot holes have been started. 247 meters deep pressure shafts have 5 meters excavated diameter, and after the installation of steel liner, the final diameter would be 3.18 meters. The progress of whole complex is going on swiftly and ahead of the planned schedule. The machine hull would be equipped with four Pelton turbine generator units. The working on all four units are in progress simultaneously. Two bridge cranes having maximum capacity of 225 tons each have already been installed and operational since mid of this year. The pit liner for Unit 1 is being installed. The pit liner for Unit 2, 3 and 4 have already been installed and pouring of concrete achieved at desired level. The fixing of electro-mechanical parts is being installed. Among all units, fourth unit progress is ahead of all generating units. The turbine distributor parts have been fixed successfully at their locations and fabrications works are in progress. The experienced local and foreign welders were deployed for this critical component welding. There are two erection bays for the installation and maintenance of powerhouse equipments. Some construction works are pending at erection bay 2 however, the erection bay 1 has already been completed. The main transformer hull will be housed with 13 single-phase generators, including one spare generator. The excavation works had been concluded, and the steel reinforcement fixing and concrete works are in progress. The concrete lining of four bus bar tunnels have been completed however other structural works in the vicinity structures are in progress. At the top of the transformer hull, the cable tunnel is located. The total length of the tunnel is 286 meters having 30% gradient. The concrete lining of cable tunnel is in progress. The exhaust tunnels for powerhouse and transformer hull have been arranged. Both tunnels are interconnected and finally broke through with cable tunnel. The excavation works were already been completed and cleaning of invert and cushion concrete are in progress. 17 meters deep shafts excavation are in progress for the installation of tailrace gates. Out of four, one tailrace gate shaft have been completed. The construction of permanent bridge is in progress. 
Recently the launching of 12 bridge girders have been completed successfully. The concreting of flange portion and deck slab are in progress. It is expected that by end of this year, the permanent bridge will be open for traffic. For the fabrication of steel liners for pressure tunnels and shafts, a special steel factory has been constructed within the project area. The thick steel plates are folded through pressure to give the canned shape and then welded through fully automated machines and experienced welders. After completion of fabrication works, the can passed through quality control test. After quality assurance, the cans were transferred to paint shop for final coating. The construction activities were commenced in 2017 and achieved about 60% physical progress so far. The project is expected to be operational by December 2022. Allah be praised. Thanks viewer for watching, thumbs up if you like, write us your valuable suggestions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more informative and exciting videos. Share the video link to your friend if you feel valued.